Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join myself, Dr. James Gill, for another clinical skills video. Today we're going to be doing a demonstration of the peripheral vascular exam. Hello, my name is Dr. Gill. I've been asked to do an examination of your blood vessels today, but before we get into that, could I please confirm your name and date of birth? Yep, Megan Struthers, 22nd of February, 1998. Super. So today what we'd like to do is do an examination of your blood vessels, if that's okay. So that'll involve getting you to uh, sit on the bed, we'll have a look at your hands, check your pulses in your wrists, arms and neck, have a look over your face, get you to lie back and also press around your stomach, and then have a look at your legs, including the blood vessels in your groin. Will that be okay? Yep. Super. So if you could sit on, uh, sit on the bed to start off with, cool. And it's just a quick overview. I can't see any obvious scars. I can't see any issues at all as you're sat, uh, sat there. So if I can have a look at your hands, please. So I can't see any tar staining. I can't see any obvious abnormalities. I'm just going to press over the fingertips. That's good. I can't see any um, uh, ulcers and things, the scars to the fingertips. If you turn your hands over, please. Okay. Can't see any wasting there. Again, the fingertips look good. If you turn your hands back for me. And again, there's no wasting on the back of the hands either, so no issues with the small muscles of the hand, suggesting there might be a thoracic outlet obstruction. I'm just going to check the temperatures of your arms. Okay, so the temperatures feel normal there. So I'm just going to take your pulse if I could. So we've got a nice steady pulse there, and it's about 50 beats per minute. And we've got the same going through both sides. I'm just going to take your elbow if I might. We're just checking how strong your pulse is. That's all normal. Okay. Now at this point we're going to do your blood pressure. Do you have any problems with your arms at all? No. Okay. So we're going to do first without the blood pressure cuff. So if I can just put this across the top of your arm, check we've got the correct size. That's good. And I'm just going to feel the pulse as we do so. Okay, so that's disappeared at approximately 100. And it easily comes back. So we're going to do the same again now with the stethoscope and have a listen. Blood pressure is about 98 there. And it disappears at 62. That's great. Now we're going to do the same again on the opposite side. But we've got a good idea where your blood pressure is, so we only need to do it with the stethoscope this time. The pulse has disappeared. Okay. And that's back about a hundred. And it's completely disappeared again by sixty. So there's no significant difference between the blood pressure on either arms. That's good. Thank you. Okay, so if we just get you to lean back on the bed and we'll have a look at your neck, if I might. Okay. And so I'm just having a look. I can't see any obvious issues with your neck. If you could just move your hair back for me. Okay, okay so I can't see any obvious issues with your neck. And if you could turn all the way out of the plane, please. I'm just going to put my hands on your neck. Is that okay? So mm -hmm. if you just try and relax back. Okay, so we've got a good cross and pulse there. And turn your head this way, please. And again, relax back. 
And again, we've got a good carotid pulse. Now I'm going to take the stethoscope again and have a listen. So we're both going to breathe together. So we'll breathe in, hold it, I'll have a listen, and then we'll breathe out afterwards. Okay, so if you turn that way, please. Deep breath in, and hold it. That all sounds normal. And we'll turn this way, please. Deep breath in, hold it. That's fine, and breathe away normally for me. So everything sounds to be normal there. Just having a look over your eyes. So the pupils all seem to be normal. I can't see any abnormalities to the eye, eyes themselves. If you pull your eyelids down for me a little. That's fine, and relax. So I need to have a look at your uh, stomach now, if that's okay. So what I'd like you to do, to lie flat, and if you could lift up your uh, shirt so I can just have a look at your abdomen. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's... Okay. So having a look, I can't see any scars or any obvious pulsations. I'm just going to press down on your stomach, if I can. Okay, that's fine. So I can feel the pulse there, as I'd expect, but it doesn't feel abnormal. I'm just going to have a listen. Okay, that all sounds normal. So there's no issues there, that's good. Now, uh, I need to press uh, into the area near your groin to try and feel the pulses there. Is that okay? Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to press to the side. Okay, and I can feel a good femoral pulse there. And on the opposite side as well. Now, if I could take your wrist, please. And I'm going to check both at the same time. Okay, so they're both coming through together, so we know there's no delay between the two. Super. If I could get you to take your socks off, please. Again, relax. Then we need to have a look over the toes, the same as we did with the um, hands. So we can't see any obvious uh, damage still. Just checking for capillary refill. Okay, we've got good capillary refill on both sides. I'm just checking between, making sure there's no issues with the ulcers here. Then having a look at the base of the feet, I can't see any issues. I'm just going to pick your foot up if that's okay. So, and there's no problems at the ankle. Okay. Then so we're just checking for temperature on the front of the legs, making sure that everything feels warm and we're well perfused. So whilst that is normal, we need to check going down the foot further. So if I could bring your leg up to 30 degrees, please. Okay. Just checking from behind. And I'm going to press in. There might be a little bit of discomfort as I do so. Okay, so we've got a normal pulse there, and it doesn't feel enlarged. You can relax this leg down. And we'll do the same again on this side. So just pressing up and in. Okay, that's fine. And bring this leg down, please. So I'm going to check on both sides now at the same time. So we're checking the pulse behind the ankles. That's fine. And then the pulse over the front of your feet. That's good. So the final test I'm going to do, I'm going to raise your leg up and we would hold it for t up to two minutes to see if there's any changes in the blood vessels. Okay. And after two minutes has gone by, hopefully we wouldn't see any changes. We'll do the same again on the opposite side. And again, after two minutes, we'd hopefully not see any changes. So the final bit of the examination, um, I've got a, a, a neurotip. So this is a, a very soft piece of plastic. I'm just going to touch across your legs. Please say yes if you can feel me touching you with it. Mm -hmm. To start off with, I'm going to press it on your chest. If you close your eyes for me and touch this to your chest. Can you feel that? Yep. Okay, and that's what we'll feel further down the body. So if you close your eyes for me, please, and say yes if you feel me touch you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Super. So there's no problems with uh, the sensation there. Okay, the final bit, if you could sit up please and just have your legs dangle off the bed. And we're just going to see if there's any changes to your legs as they hang there with gravity in effect. Okay, so that completes our examination. We've not found any abnormalities. Do you have any questions for myself today? No. Super, well, I'll let you put your socks and shoes on. Thank you. Thank you.